from finding shell casings outside their homes. They were all found on the west side of Elm Street. To vehicles being shot at while sitting in their driveway. I pray. I pray for my neighborhood every night, every day. I pray. Families who live near Elm Street on Durham's east side described the gunfire they heard around 10 o'clock last night. So I was just pulling into my driveway and uh, heard shots louder than I'd ever heard before. Police responded to Maine and Elm. They found an unoccupied car that had been shot at. They had shut down the road to investigate. That's when police say two cars drove through the crime scene actively shooting. That's when two officers started firing at them. Those suspects got away. Thankfully, no one was hurt in the shootout, but at least one woman's car window was hit. And that makes me feel very upset because we are resident and we are homeowners trying to pay for a house that we could have and not pay for something that for people to come on our street and destroy. The city leaders need to step up their game. So far this year, there have been 357 shooting incidents. So what is the city doing to address this? In Mayor Elaine O'Neill's State of the City address, she said the city and county crime cabinet would be working on solutions to address the problem. I never heard back from Mayor O'Neill today when I reached out to her, but Brenda Howerton, chair of the Durham County Commissioners, says the cabinet is meeting every month. Tonight, these residents say there's an urgent need for more immediate action. From the city hall, from the police station, we all need to come together and we need to make a floor plan for these kids.